My name is Magnus Ligbach. I'm a personal trainer and nutritionist. So today I'm gonna to show you one of the days from the program that I did with Gal Gadot. So when Gal came to me, we had about five months to prepare for filming. When you start preparing for a marathon of a movie like this, you wanna make sure to build a strong foundation. Included in that is to screen someone physically to see how they move. When building a character, you really need to break down what character needs. And if you look at Wonder Woman, she obviously needs the physique. She also needs strength, mobility, agility and endurance. To film a movie, it's like running a marathon. It's not a sprint. You need to make sure that you're still healthy and that you last for the whole duration. It would be disaster if your client would get injured and production needs to stop. It would cost millions of dollars. So that's the number one priority to, to keep your client healthy. When building a superhero, it takes a village. So it's not only me as a trainer, there's also a stunt team, stunt doubles, body doubles, physios, and chefs. So what I do on a movie set is I take care of the physical training. I make sure that the right food comes up at the right time and that my actor, actress eats it. I also make sure to warm them up before a big physical scene and just oversee things so they don't get injured. Obviously nutrition is a big part of building a superhero. I will cover that in another video. Today it's gonna to be more about the training. So I had Gal on a five day split. It was actually a three day plus two day split. So in the first three days, we would work through the whole body once and then the two next days or the two last days, we'd work through the body once again. So we would work through the body two times in five days. So the first exercise of the day is our warm up. I'm using an assault bike. On any day where I'm working out my upper body, I like to warm up with something that activates my upper body as well. So I'm doing five minutes on the assault bike. So our next exercise is a wide grip lat pull down. I'm doing 12 reps and three sets. I'm making sure that I'm really stretching out my shoulder and then lowering the shoulder before it start pulling down. Our third exercise is for the chest. It's a push up. Depending on how strong you are, you can, you can start with an incline and work your strength up so you can do them flat. What I always do when I do push-ups is I finish on my knees. So work to failure and then try to do five to seven reps on your knees. Our next exercise is an alternating standing dumbbell row. Make sure to put the dumbbells back on your hips, squeeze your rhomboids or shoulder blades together, chest forward, squat down a little bit and lean forward. Then you fall into the middle, you rotate the dumbbell in and then you pull up. Make sure not to rotate your spine, prevent that rotation. So you go slow on the way down, eccentric, and you go much more explosive, concentric on the way up. Towards the end of this program, I'm starting to superset a lot more. So this is the first superset of the day. And we're starting with a reversed fly with dumbbells on an incline bench. And then we're turning around and we're doing an incline fly on the bench. 12 reps on both for three rounds. When doing a reverse fly, make sure to squeeze your shoulders together, shrug back, keep your spine and neck neutral and go fast on the way out and slow on the way down. When doing a fly, make sure that you lower your shoulders and you slowly stretch out as far as you're comfortable with and then you go explosive on the way up. So our final superset of the day is all about the core. So we're starting with a crossover mountain climber and then we're going straight into rotational leg kicks. When performing a mountain climber, make sure that you lower your shoulders and you 
keep your hands underneath your shoulders. When tucking the knee in and rotating, try to come all the way up and touch your elbow. When performing a rotational leg kick, make sure that your shoulders are lowered. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders. Rotate the hip in underneath you and kick on the opposite side and make sure that your leg does not touch the floor. That's it, that's one of the days from the whole Wonder Woman program. And obviously different weeks would look different, but uh, yeah, this is a tough one. I'm still super impressed with how Gal put her through this program on a weekly basis. And as you can tell in the movie, she, she looks great. She does not only look the part, she is the part. Hope you liked the video. If you want to see the full program, it's on my app, magnusmethodapp.com. If you want to see other content, comment below, let me know what you want to see, and I'll do my best to create it for you. Hit that subscribe button. See you next time.